Today's Bible reading is taken from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. May the Lord bless this reading in your hearts, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The title of our message is Come to the Scriptures. In verse 28 of Matthew 11, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy living, and I will give you rest. Amen. That is what the Scripture says. He said, Come unto me. You know, when someone says, Come to me, then we will look to who is calling. Now, if we don't know who is calling, like someone call you on the telephone, you don't know the person, then you will ask, Who is speaking? Who am I speaking with? It's important we know who we are speaking with or who is speaking with us and to be able to connect and have a proper discussion the scripture says come unto me so he wants us to listen to he that is calling us every one of us he says all you that labor say stop laboring stop looking for god come to me and i will give you rest God wants us to come to him, that his way is easy, his yoke is easy and his body light. And that's why he gave him to us, so that we all can have access to God directly. Amen. He does not want us to be disadvantaged. He does not want us to be struggling. He did it for us. He gave us this opportunity to come to him. If we have to go, go through some other means, we might not attain. If it requires money, then the poor cannot gain assets. If it requires to be special or have a special position, then many will be disadvantaged. But in this case, he says, come unto me all of you so he has made it easy for us by giving us this way giving us this access to him Amen. and so that's what god is calling every one of us to he's calling us to himself he said he wants us to come to him come to who listen to what john wrote in john chapter 5 verse 39 and 40 Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. He said, You are searching the scriptures. The scripture says, We are searching the scriptures. For in them we think we can obtain eternal life. We can obtain something from the scriptures. But the scripture says that we should come to him. And then we have eternal life. That God has given us eternal life. He said that life is in me. Say the word of God. He says that we should come to him because he is ever living. That we are searching the scriptures, we ignore the scriptures. We are searching the scriptures, we don't come to the scriptures. He said we should come to him, all of us, wherever you are, that we have to come to Jesus. We have to come to the word of God. Here God ordain our freedom. He says if you come to me, you will be free indeed as we study in the Sunday school. How? He is the free one whom God gave to us. You know, when he came here in the flesh, he was tempted 
How did Jesus get freedom from Satan and Satan with satanic manipulation? Through the scriptures. He knew whom he is to come to and whom he should receive. And so because he received the word, then the word received him and then Satan was out of the game. He lost. He says that we are looking for eternal life. I am eternal life. God truly has given us eternal life. He said that eternal life is in his son. We should come to him. We should leave the dead flesh. That if we are still searching the scriptures and we say we're going to have eternal life, we have missed it altogether. We have gone wrong altogether. Mm -hmm. The very word of God in the Bible is living. The eternal can never be removed. He said, now walk in this liberty. Stand in this liberty. By what means? By faith. He said, once you come to the scripture, you have come to the living. Because he is the living. The flesh profited nothing. He has no life. He said, the life is in his word. That when we come to the Bible, we should come to the Bible. We should not be hypocrites. We should not walk in iniquity. We come to him, we don't believe. He said, everyone that comes to this God must believe that he is God, active, living. See what Hebrews said to us in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the utmost that come unto God by him. Seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. He said, if you come to this one, to this living one who said, come to me, all you that labor and heavy lady. He said, this one is able to save you to the utmost. Seeing or oh, because he is living. He said, because I'm alive, you will be alive as well. He said, because he's living. He is able to intercede for you forever. Once you come to God by him. You want to be saved? He says, come to this one. He is able to save you. You see, if we are claiming we are saved and we have not come to this person, say we are not saved. How can we be saved without the Savior? He says that this one is able to save you. He saved him in the days of his flesh. Who the scriptures? He says, anybody that come to him and believe that he's that God, the awesome God, the most high God that will defeat every other God, he's able to save them to the utmost. Amen. Do you know that God is the Bible, active living? He says, come to him. We shouldn't be a people that is ever learning, never coming to the knowledge of God. So we should come to the knowledge of God. That when you come to the knowledge of God, then he will make you free indeed. You will not be manipulated by fake doctrine. Those doctrines can never save. Because the preachers are not the savior. What they are preaching cannot save. They are just lying in wait to manipulate. Lying in wait to deceive. Ever he says that, we are giving the word of God so that we can come to the full stature of God, to the full knowledge of the Son of God, unto the perfect man, so that we will not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. That the doctrine of God is the word of God. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son. He gave us the Holy Bible. It says that everybody that comes to God through this person, through the scriptures, the God of the scripture is able to save that person to the utmost. Amen. For so he ordained. Yes. The Spirit says, come to me. How? Through his word. Mm -hmm. Now listen to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4. To whom coming as unto a living stone, is allowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Mm -hmm. He said the Holy Bible is so precious before the Holy Spirit, the God of our soul. 
He said, this word of God, the Holy Bible, has been rejected by men, by humans, in favor of themselves. Like he said, you come to me, you cite the scriptures, and then you think you have eternal life. There is proof everywhere that the flesh doesn't have eternal life. Men die. The scripture says so, that is appointed unto humans to die once. So, there's no eternal life there. But he says that this one is eternal. Who says so? The Holy Spirit says this one is disallowed by humans. If we are being told that doctrine of the flesh, if we give ourselves to the dead, that cannot save us. He said we should give ourselves to the living. He said has come into the living stone. The stone that he gave to Moses. He said the writing was the writing of God written with the finger of God. It would disarm principalities and powers. Mm -hmm. If you take to this stone, it would deal as it did to the son of Nebuchadnezzar. He said, mini, mini, tickle for sin. Gone. He said, if you take to the scripture, the powers of the witches will be disarmed. If you come and stand in this authority, you are not standing in the flesh, no weapon form against you can work. He says, stand in this liberty. That the liberty God gave to us is this living one. Even the Holy Bible, you can walk in him, Amen. move in him, and have your being in him. Amen. How through your heart, yes. in your mind, you walk in Christ, so God ordained. He said, many have disallowed him, even in the pulpit. We preach the word. He said, if you preach the word, Anyone that responds to him by faith will come to me. That's what Jesus said here in John chapter 6, verse 44 and 45. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Are you hearing? He said no one can come to the Son of God. No one can come to the knowledge of the Son of God except the Father, even the Holy Spirit that sent him, that gave us the word. Verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father, come unto me. Is anyone that the Spirit has taught will come to the Scriptures? He will discover what the Spirit is saying, that this is my beloved Son, in whom I will please hear you him. Once you have that spiritual ear, you will hear what the Spirit says. That the Spirit is telling us, come to me. To, through who? Through his word. The Spirit is speaking to us through the Holy Scriptures. He said, come to me. Once you come to him, you have come to the living, to the living God. He said, once you come to him, to who? To the Son of God, then you are his disciples indeed. You follow the scriptures. The scripture will be talking to you forever. Cannot be removed. He says, you will be free indeed. So it is written in the prophet that the Holy Spirit will teach his children and then bring every one of us to the Son, to this wonderful house. That's why Jesus says, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I've gone to prepare a place for you. If I have gone to prepare a place for you, I will come again and bring you to myself, so that where I am, you'll be there also. He wants us to come to the scriptures. That's where he is. That's where the Spirit ordained for us. It says, oh, everyone will be taught by the Holy Spirit. Then Jesus said this in John 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Amen. Are you hearing? He said, the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, will come, whom the Father will send in my name. Amen. Don't let them confuse you. The name of the Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ. That is his name. There's not another spirit. 
The spirit of the scripture is Jesus Christ. Say, now the Lord is that spirit. The spirit that spoke to all the prophets, spoke to Moses, spoke to Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Hosea, all his prophets, and gave us the Bible. Now he said, when he comes, when the spirit comes, as it is written, he shall teach everyone, and everyone that he teaches, he will bring them to his son. You, Jesus said, you cannot come to me. I said, the spirit of the scripture teaches you. Uh, so it is written that the Holy Spirit of the Bible will teach everyone that belongs to the scriptures, then they will come to him. They will come to the knowledge of the Son of God. They will not know the true God and Jesus whom he has sent. That is eternal life. You will never perish. You have passed from the dead to the living. You have passed from the dead flesh to the living Son of God. That the living Son of God is the scriptures says the holy spirit says this is so precious to him but he so loved us he gave us this precious word of god but he said this precious word of god is disallowed of men the very agent the very ones that said they are preaching him he said you are searching the scriptures therefore you disallow me you don't come to the knowledge of the scriptures that god said we should come and there's only one who can bring us to this way the spirit of the Bible. That's why we preach him. So that his spirit will come upon us. Amen. How can we receive the spirit after we believe? He said, once you believe in the preaching you are hearing of of the Bible, then the spirit of the scripture will confirm it. It will come upon you. And then you'll be speaking the same thing. You'll be testifying of him. You'll become witnesses unto him. Jesus said, you will now become a witness of the holy scriptures. As the spirit said to be, that he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Those who allow him, those who open unto him, he will come in. And that's why he says, Come to the scriptures. God has given us freedom. The freedom is in his word. Now, as we round up, listen to what he said, what the Holy Spirit spoke to his disciples in Luke chapter 24. Verse 44 to 45. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me, because they witnessed me. This is the express image of my person. He said, these are the words I spoke to you. Why was he yet with you in the flesh? Now I'm no longer in the flesh. I am the Holy Spirit that was coming, the comforter. I said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Now I'm come to guide you into the truth so that you will know the truth, the truth will make you free. Then verse 45, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Amen. They might know the true Christ. Amen. He said, I've been speaking of the true Christ to you. Who is that true Christ? The unremovable Christ, the Bible. Who preached him? The Holy Spirit. He's come. In what name? In the name of Jesus. He says, Go and baptize them. I am the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is none else beside me, no name under heaven, given among men where we can be saved except the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherefore, God has highly exalted me. The name he gave to his word, to the Bible. He said, at this name, every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess that he is Lord of heaven, Lord of earth, Lord over all. Come to the scriptures. Amen. The scripture is that Lord. Who made him Lord? The Spirit. Said, This is my beloved son. I'll set him on the hill, the holy hill of Zion. Come. You come, come to get deliverance. Come to get healing. Come. Stop struggling. Come. Come to him. Amen. He is here with us today. We are in the book. Has come into the living. He will not give his glory to another. So he said, You are the Lord. 
That is your name. You will never see your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Oh, Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, it is your name. Hallelujah. He is the Almighty God. He came before the God, the God they knew. He is the Almighty God. Even the Akron Knight says the God, the Israelites, they are bringing him to kill us. He will rule over our gods, over our faith God. Who is that God? The Bible. He is the King of Kings. You take him. He said, This stone is disallowed. Please don't disallow me. So let's pray. And so, Lord, bring us to your son. Bring us to this living. So that we will be in the living, then we have passed from death to life. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. Almighty Savior, eternal spirit, you are the Lord, that is your name. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, 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 we thank God for that moment of hearing his word again. As we prayed, he has helped us and he has fed us. So we thank him. The title of uh, the message we've just heard is uh, Come to the Scriptures. So we made note that uh, the Scripture is Jesus Christ, is the one we are to come to. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. So we cannot find rest anywhere else. Is uh, in him, even the holy scriptures, we can find rest. And he's comparing us to come to him, that uh, we will not go to another. So as uh, God is calling the wicked one out there, he's calling us uh, as well. So that uh, it's only God that uh, can help us to come to him. So we, we saw, he said that uh, we are searching the scripture in the way we think, is in the scripture itself we have eternal life no if we are searching the scriptures we don't know whom the scripture is pointing to that is pointing to the man christ jesus so we cannot get understanding so that the scriptures we are searching we are reading is the person of jesus christ that we are to come to the thought he said and you will not come to me that you may have eternal life so he is the eternal life so he wants us to come to him, that as we read, we come to him. So he said to us in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25, he said he's able to save to the uttermost they that come to God by him. You know, so without the scriptures, we cannot come to God. So it's by the scriptures we can come to God. So let's begin to thank him that uh, we will not go to another. So when we pick up the Bible to start reading, we know whom the Bible is pointing to, that is pointing to the man, Christ Jesus, that is the door to God. Amen. Without him, we cannot gain access to God. Mm -hmm. So let's pray and thank him that that which we have heard, we abide in us continually in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, Father, we pray unto you, God, and that we pray today, we abide in us, we pray 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 in us